Welcome back to the Cabbage Patch. I'm Dad. I'm Tommy. And I'm Gus. And today, what did we do, guys? Castle Panic. Castle Panic. Castle Panic. The game. Ca castle, yeah, it's a. The game where you have no cards that are on blue or green or red, and, and all of the monsters are charging from that side. From that side. I think you can play uh, up to six players with this. We obviously only played with three. I'm sorry, we're all over the place. We're all over the place. So this is a game for up to six players. It is cooperative, although there is a variation when one, where one person gets to be the overlord and places the monsters. Um, but we played cooperatively. We didn't keep score. There's a version of the game where you keep score of what monsters each of you killed. We just put all of our kills over here in a pile because we were trying to prevent our castle from being destroyed by these monsters. And the game's pretty simple, right? So at the beginning of the game, there's a monster on each of these numbered forest sections, right? And the monsters can be these orcs, which you can see there. They can be, yeah, they can, they can be, where do they, where'd the rest of them go? They can be goblins, which are, have one hit point. Orcs have two hit points. Or they can be, or they can be trolls. Okay, yeah, we've set that up in a second. Which have three. Which have three hit points. Trolls are really, tro trolls are really mean. So the game starts off with this castle here in the middle. And you're trying to protect it, right? And by the way, yes, it looks really cool. It does look really cool. Um, and you protect it by, on your turn, Drawing a handful of cards that have different abilities. So those cards, I was putting them in the camera. Those cards are, they have a color and a name. And, and the name matches the rings on the map, right? So, one second, right? One second, then you could tell them, right? So the red archer can hit monsters Here. that are in the red zone, the one or the two zone, in the archer ring. So it goes forest, archer, knight, swordsman, castle. When you play a card against a monster that's in that ring, that monster takes one point of damage. Nice. If, it has if it only has one. So the troll, and then you keep track of them by rotating them. Yeah, we had a lot of trolls. We had a lot of trolls. So if this monster takes a point of damage, you take this car, you take this troll token and you rotate it so the two is facing the castle. And that's how you know how much hit points it has left, right? So on each turn, you draw your cards. So you have you start off with a hand of five cards for three players, and it uh, it scales depending on how many players you have. You can discard one of those cards and draw another card to try to replace it and hope for something better. You then can trade cards with other players. And you can do that once per turn. So if Tommy's got a card that I really need to kill this monster, I'll trade him for it. Then you play the card. So you play the swordsman, and the kit, it damages monsters in the sword, the blue swordsman ring. You, dra you play the knight, it damages monsters in the knight ring. And you try to make the monsters go away. And, and what? The, from swordsmen to archers to knights. Yes. We just said that. <laughs> I, I, I wanted to say that. You wanted to say that. <laughs> All right. So swordsmen, archers, and knights. So the right. whole idea is to keep your hand of cards on the on your turn so that you have the best hand to deal damage to the monsters. When the monsters... And then you play cards, you do damage. Then you move the monsters. And on every turn, the monsters move up one space. So they start in the forest. And then at the end of a player's turn, they move up one space. Right? And all of the monsters move. And if a monster gets to one of these castle wall segments, it takes a point of damage and the wall goes away. If the monster gets to a castle segment, it takes a point of damage and the castle segment goes away. If there's a monster inside the castle walls, instead of moving forward towards the castle, it moves clockwise around the castle, damaging the castle places until it loses all its hit points. Or somebody plays a card to kill it. And there are only a few cards that can kill monsters that are inside the castle. All right, there's the barbarian, and then there's a. I think hero. there's another one. The hero can the hero do it? The hero might be able to do it. 
So the object is to prevent the monsters from getting to the castle. And throughout the game, you can build and rebuild wall spaces. Using brick. Using brick and mortar. You can fortify wall spaces there. So you put a little hanger on that wall, and that gives that wall an extra hit point, right? So that yeah. instead of it going away, you take away the fortification. And the game ends when either all of the castle pieces in the middle are gone, and then that means we lose, or all of the monster tokens have been drawn, and there are 49 of them. Actually, there may be less of them because we played the easier version. Um, and all the monsters have been killed. I'm alive again. Yeah. So that's the game. Did we win or lose? We lost. We lost. Badly. We had about that much left. The one time a boulder came onto the scene, it completely missed anything. Oh, that's right. There is a boulder card, so if you draw a boulder... A oh, bold, and we forgot one a part. A boulder come in, comes in and destroys anything in its path. And at the end of the, at the end of the player's turn, after you've moved the monsters, you draw two more monsters. That's how you keep cycling through the monsters. And what? How do you, how do you place the monsters, Gus? You roll the dice. You're not Gus. You roll the dice. Right. So roll the die. And you got a six. So you put a new monster in the forest over here for the six, and then you roll the dice again, and you got a five. And some of the tokens do things. So this one says, move all the monsters in the blue section forward one. So that's that's scary. Yeah. And as Tommy said, that there is a thing called a giant boulder. And if you roll, roll the dice, Gus. Roll the dice. Gus just rolled a two. So the giant boulder would start in the forest over here. And it would roll all the way through the map. Break that wall. Kill those monsters. And off the other side. So the giant boulder can be both good and bad, but it keeps rolling because <laughs> it takes everything out. R.I.P. Right? Orc. And wall piece. Um, and that's basically it. There are cards that will let you defend the castle, but there aren't very many of them, so you have to I'm use them. About the wall pieces. You have to you have to uh, you have to use them judicious, judiciously, right? Yeah, even though I don't know what that means. Uh, you sparing you use them when you need them and not just abuse them, right? So. If you can take, if you can afford to take some damage, maybe you save the barbarian until you only have one castle piece left, and then you can get that. Don't abuse your that. powers. Don't abuse your powers. And that's it. What um, were there any rules we didn't remember? Uh, I, th I don't. No, I don't think so. I think we occasionally forgot the turn order, right? So you have to draw the cards up to five. And you can have more than five cards in your hand, but you draw up to five. Discard and draw a card has to happen before everything else, right? You can trade cards. So we've sometimes forgot, I think when we did the playthrough, that we needed, we had to discard before we started playing cards, right? Um, and also we had to look up what the special monsters do. So there are special monsters that are in here. This one's called the Healer. And There's as you can a, imagine, he healed. Uh, this is the Goblin King. Um, he brings other things with him. Right, so when you draw the healer and you place the healer, all the monsters that have been damaged heal one hit point, which was but one of the reasons we the, lost the game. But the healer cannot revive monsters. He can't revive, no, he just heals them by one hit point. And then the Goblin King immediately means you have to draw like three more monsters. So th there's tons of monsters on the game. Um, we did not win. <laughs> they actually failed miserably. We didn't fail miserably, got close. We had eight tokens left, and if we if we, the healer hadn't come on, we might have been able to get that last monster that was about to crush our castle. So did you like the game? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. How much did you like the game? How many cabbage do you think two. you like the game? So it's a two cabbage game? How about you? Two. It's two? I'm going to give it a solid two as well. It's it's relatively quick. It took us about a half an hour, a little maybe a little more. Um, it's relatively easy to understand. It's fun for kids. It's cooperative. All right? So, so we get to work together. So you're not trying to like steal stuff from each other. And when you played it, we played it fully cooperative. So there's a there is a, a version where you score um, monsters. So you keep monsters as trophies, and whoever has the most trophied monsters, you know, wins. It's it's kind of it's kind of like like Gimli and like Legolas. Right. And their orc killing game. And their orc killing game, which 
you haven't seen that movie yet, so you... I've you, read the books. You've, yeah. Mom, yeah, Mom reads the books. Yeah. So, okay, so you've gotten that part of the book. Great. Um, yeah, it is a little bit, right? So whoever gets the most trophies is the, is the winner. Um, so, but we played it purely cooperative, so we just completely lost. Um, I'm not sure which one of us killed the most monsters. But that's it. I think I'm going to give it a two as well. So that's six cabbages. It's a pretty solid game. Solid. And uh, will we play it again? Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably, because it's fun. It's easy to play. Yeah, and we played it a bunch when I was younger. Yeah, we played it a bunch when you were younger. Um, so this is our our first, uh, this was like the very first game that I got for you. Uh, probably, you were probably younger than him. Um, maybe seven, seven or eight. And that's it. That's the game. All right. like, hit that bell, please. Leave a comment if you wish. Eat plenty of cavities. Don't not us. Not don't us. Eat us don't eat us. Nobody's going to eat us. We're far away. They're all on YouTube. And Hopefully. Stayed, and I saved uh, next door neighbors. All right. Well, or we will unless they're boulders. Yeah, or that's their boulders. We will see everybody next time. Thanks. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.